Hi, I'm Janique and I love fragrance tea. Well, not so much fragrance tea as fragrance updates. And so in this video, I'm going to provide you with like a handful of fragrance updates. Nothing too long, nothing too serious. Just a good time for fragrance lovers. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm Janique and welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not a new video for you. I'm happy you're here and I hope you enjoy the video. Looks like I lost my favorite time. I love a good fragrance announcement and this month we have a few things to talk about. First up, Kayali is coming out with a new fragrance. You must have seen all the ads all over YouTube, all over TikTok with Huda Katan talking about Yum Pistachio Gelato, a new gourmand fragrance from Kayali. No, <laughs> come take my money. Come take it because I am so excited about this. It is supposed to be a mix of pistachio gelato and booze and whipped cream cotton candy it all sounds delicious and sweet and yummy and i'm all here for it and have you seen that bottle the frosted mint green it's so pretty and it definitely stands apart from the other Kayale bottles i also love the whole aesthetic of the campaign it got me excited right away they were like calling my name speaking my name no here's the thing i don't particularly love gourmands but i like them enough to check this one out and i have put my name on the wait list on the huda beauty website so i'll be alerted as soon as it becomes available i am so excited also in fragrance release news you may have already heard this one but mugler's angel has another flanker yes all the flankers have been coming out and we now have angel elixir however all of the reviews have been saying that it's basic which feels like a slap in the face because as we all know angel was the original gourmand it did it first and now they're putting out basic house perfumes and not trend setting anymore we don't love to see it we do not however the campaign is giving because hunter schaefer is the new face of this new line and she is stunning in all of the visuals we love it also Kasha Rell has tapped Sky Jackson as the new face and I've never wanted to try on a Kasha Rell fragrance more because Sky Jackson looks so great in all of the campaigns Whitney Peak is the new face of Coco Mademoiselle. She's the first black actress to helm a campaign for Chanel. It's obviously long overdue and we love to see it. She looks stunning in all the visuals. She very much gives Gen Z. So we can only hope that she attracts a Gen Z audience to Chanel because if you don't grow and change and diversify, you're going to die. That's basically what happens. This is the season for flankers. It seems as if everything that's been coming out from designers has been another flanker instead of giving us new fragrances. But let's get into what we have seen recently and what we can expect. So number one, we have Black Opium Le Parfum, which is a vanilla leaning version of the original. Now, I've never been a huge Black Opium fan, but I'm curious if we have a more vanilla -y version, then I'd love to check it out. We also have a new My Way, Mar My Way Le Parfum. Now, I have the three other my ways i have my way my way intense and my way floral and i love them all and this is supposed to be a bergamot meets orange blossom version of the fragrance and that sounds wonderful i do love me some orange blossom it does have an animalic quality to it that is not for everybody but i think it makes fragrances a lot more sexy also we have a new donna born in roma donna born in roma intense it's supposed to be a warmer version of the original i do enjoy donna born in roma again i have all three i have donna born in roma i have coral fantasy and yellow dream i enjoy all of them and i would love to check this out i'm not eagerly running to the store to buy one of these because I have the originals already and I feel like do I need another flanker for one of these I probably don't also in terms of the flankers we have Versace Dylan purple coming out no I have Dylan blue like a little mini of it it isn't my favorite fragrance, it's just okay for me. And I don't know who was asking for Dylan Purple, but we we have it apparently. We have a new fragrance from Seven Virtues. I think it's called Coconut Sun. It sounds intriguing. Ellis Brooklyn has Florist coming out. And we have a fragrance from Killian called Blue Moon Ginger that's supposed to be a freshie and also, also supposed to be limited edition. Is it actually limited edition or are they just telling us it's limited edition to see if it sells out? I don't know, but I 
I am always suspicious of limited edition when it's plastered across a perfume because it's never gone well for me. Also, that new Nest body oil has been trending, the coconut one, because apparently we're all getting into wearing body oil on top of our lotions to help make our fragrances last longer. So getting these scented body oils seems to be the jam. I have not committed to it. I'm still using the regular Johnston Johnson. Like, here we go. Like, I haven't committed to buying the really expensive ones, but if y'all have, let me know if it's worth it. It probably isn't, is it? I don't know. Have you subscribed yet? Hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave a comment, like, like, like the video. I'd love to see that. Can't forget about niche brands and the new releases or new-ish releases from that space. They deserve our love and attention as well, don't they? So let's start off with Marc Antoine Barvois Ganymede. We're getting an X-Trait version, so they can do flankers too. We're getting an X-Trait version of this spicy fragrance. We also have a Lush Island from Goldfield and Banks, which is a house that I absolutely love. And it's supposed to be a creamy, buttery, vanilla-y sandalwood. That sounds exciting. We also also have Valaya from Parfums de Marley, which is supposed to reinvent the classic girly fragrance with hints of orange blossom. That sounds delicious to me. I've been disappointed with a Parfums de Marley fragrance, and I don't expect this to be the thing to turn me off from them. So I'm excited to give this a shot at some point. I'm not in any rush because, like, let's be real, it costs like four dollars a bottle. Like, who has the money and the time to go track these down? I don't. I don't. Ormond Jane has Sakura EDP, which is a new cherry blossom fragrance. I'm always on the hunt for a good cherry fragrance. And if this hits the mark, I would love to know about it. As well, we have something from Zoologist House Mouse. Yes, that's what it's called. And it's supposed to be chamomile and green and hay. And I'm curious about this one as well. I don't usually feel safe blind buying Zoologist perfumes because they can go left real fast but i am curious because i do love a green fragrance we have two fragrances from creed we have royal oud edp which is supposed to be agar wood and spices musk sandalwood i'm not eager because it sounds very masculine to me but it is good for somebody like i know creed does great quality fragrances so if you're into those woodier fragrances let's let me put that on your radar the other one is original vetiver which is a ginger bergamot iris and clean sweet vetiver which sounds intriguing because i like all of those things and so i'd love to try this one depending on how things are balanced i don't know if it'll be unisex masculine feminine we can't know until we try them so i'm curious about this particular creed fragrance the final fragrance that I want to talk about is Meleg's Live Meaningful Work. It's described as odd, earthy, and tangy. I don't exactly know what that translates to in terms of smell, but it's not inviting me to try it, if I'll say that. But it is interesting at the very least, so I I'll say that. It's interesting. So finally, in fragrance news, let's talk about the new campaigns from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So we have new campaigns for classic fragrances from them from 93 and 95, specifically Classique and Le Mail. So for Classique, it's a floral fragrance with orange blossoms, cinnamon, so some spiciness, some sweetness there. We have citrus. It is a classic, beautiful, really warm, inviting, enveloping fragrance that continues to sell because it smells so good and it's from 93 and the male is from 95 it was developed by francis kirkjohn who you know is a famous perfumer and the nose behind maison francis kirkjohn and we all know and love all the great things he has done and he is the nose behind the male and it is a aromatic vanilla which sounds great i don't love me a super masculine fragrance but that is intriguing to say the very least both of these fragrances have had so many flankers over over the year and over the years and you know there is no surprise given how just how popular both these fragrances continue to be and the visuals for the new campaign are so kitschy and fun and campy and kind of play up the fact that these in in fragrance world anyway or in the world of tiktok in 2023 vintage fragrances because they are from the 90s and this is trying to appeal to people born after that which is you know fascinating to me so we have these really like 
1950s 1960s visuals which i think are really fun and exciting and cast go here in a brand new light which is always fun and hopefully it'll continue to invite new interest from a younger audience for people who've never tried it never thought about trying it and now are intrigued i, I just love to see it it's all the news that i have in the fragrance world i'm sure there are more exciting things going on but these are the things that i keep tabs on and i'm interested in and maybe you are as well so if you're interested in new faces new campaigns new releases then i'll try to report more on those things and keep up to date with what's coming out so that i'll know you'll know we'll all know together so we can get these sales when they happen snag the fragrances that can become signature scents for us and never be out of the loop because who wants to be out of the loop everything for me thanks for stopping by i'm janique and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe hit the notification bell button comment say a few things i'd love to hear from you and i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks again for being here see you've been on the mind. I've been seeing